Hello and welcome to the presentation of the automatic invoice processing solution from Impunctu for SAP. My name is Frank Martial and I want to show you the advantages of our solution for the invoice processing. If you want to get more efficiency in your SAP system, then you will need our solution. This means that you get more transparency about the processes. This means you get more standardization about the processes. You get reports, you get workflow protocols, so you have a high transparency to control every invoice uh, in, in the workflows. We start with uh, the incoming invoices, paper-based in this case. I want to show you the, the email PDF uh, processing afterwards. But in this case, uh, we get the, the paper-based invoices. And the first thing we have to do is to put on a barcode label on the first page, please only on the first page. Um, this is for the separation in the mass, uh, in, the, in the bike processing, in the business scan server. So the business scan server separates the different uh, documents, reading out the specific barcode and uh, separates the invoices, read out the content, and starts the workflow. So we start now the scanning process. In this case, with our application for SAP, which is called Business Scanner. I make my login for this tool, and then we want to start the scanning process. So this is the result of the scanning process. And you see here, over here, there are two blank pages deleted. Uh, with a duplex scanning uh, automatically from the scanning tool. And if you want to get more details, please have a look on the specific video for using the Vista Scanner in different applications, different environments of the SAP. Now we can uh, uh, control the result. Uh, we can add some pages. We can rotate the pages. We can sort the pages and so on. But in this case, uh, the two invoices will be OK and we start the process. In the background, the complete stack of the invoices is transferred via the HTTP protocol from SAP to the uh, Business Scan Server. The Business Scan Server gets the complete stack, analyzes the barcodes, separates the documents, and reads out the content. When he gets the, in, the, the content, then he compares the values with the SAP master data, for example, and starts individual SAP workflows. Now we want to have a look inside the SAP system where the workflows started. So we start the SAP, and uh, the first thing I want to show you is the invoice cockpit. So we start the invoice cockpit with a different possibilities of the selection of different criteria. For example, uh, with no criteria, you get the complete overview of any workflow in our system. In this case, you get a, a lot of information about the barcode, the scan date, the references, for example, then uh, the current agent, for example, or the last agent, and the status of the invoice. Uh, you can read out this information very easily. The invoice cockpit has also a specific video. Please have a look on this with a full fill of functionality and possibilities. But we want to filter the, these amount with the scan date of today. And we see the both invoices we just have scanned. In, in our demo system, we address a, a group of, um, of employees which is called accounting. And we can click on this group and we see which employees are included in this group. For example, I'm also one of the member of this group, so I can start the process with a single click on the barcode label, for example. Then the document control starts. The document control is an ergonomic workflow tool for SAP from Impunto. So in the background, we use the SAP workflow in standard. The SAP workflow is working with a um, uh, workflow container where all the data from the SAP are inside the, the workflow container. And the document control uses all the information uh, from the workflow container. So we can change the values, we can add some comments, we can add stamps, and so on. In this case, uh, we see the, the, relevant, um, the, the relevant information on the right side. You see the picture. 
uh, from the scanned invoice, which is in the archiving system of the SAP. And on the right side, we get all the information which are coming out from the, from the OCR and the automatic compare with the SAP system. So if you want to get also, in this case, more detailed information about the document control, please have a look on the specific video. In overview, we read out automatically the company code. This depends on the address uh, the vendor uses, for example. We read out automatically the, uh, the, the vendor with his name, with his specific data, web number and so on, telephone number, address and so on. And then we have the possibility if something is changing, then we do a double click and change the value. But we can also identify, for example, this is a, a web number. If the OCR doesn't find or didn't find anything in, in, in this field, then you have the possibility with a single click to fulfill these information. So we transfer from the image directly with a click the information to the empty field over there. Ongoing, we have an invoice. In this case, we have an invoice with an order number. And uh, we get the invoice date. And you see that we get always on the right side, we get always a, a feedback, which is colored in yellow in this case. And we get a, a, a big picture over there in this uh, field over there on the, on, the right, on the left side. Then we get the, the single position. We change the, the next tab and we see that we automatically identify the purchase order with the open positions here and we have an automatic link between the purchase items and uh, invoice items and the purchase item. So additional functionalities are common. Hello. Every things okay. And also the possibility to use annotations directly on the sheet. Of course, in detail, it's a, it's a separate uh, layer, uh, invisible layer, where we write these information. And at least you can define your approval process. In our case, in this demo system, we said we, we want to use two signing persons, for example, uh, accounting release and accounting release sounds good. But for example, this is ex exactly your organization you have. In this case, I sign with a, a di digital signing and automatically the next person who is responsible for the next step is automatically fulfilled inside the, the next agent field. If you don't want to use this person, you can change this person. I take the process by my side and said, okay, I want to inform Mr. Frank Marcia in this case for the next step. And then we get the next step inside the cockpit. You see, with the refresh, the last agent, the current agent, and now we fulfill uh, the end and post uh, uh, the invoice. Everything is completed. Here we get the, the, the warning. We get a complete history about uh, the comments and the annotations. And now we fulfill that everything is okay with this invoice. Um, a specific case in the, um, uh, in the processing of invoices with purchase number is if you have no, um, no difference between the, the prices and the amounts and so on, then you can completely post the invoice in the background. So you have nothing to do. You scan the invoice, we read out the content, we analyze the values inside the SAP, compare the values and so And if you have nothing uh, uh, which are different to the SAP values, then you can completely post these kind of invoices in the background. We fulfill the SAP transaction, in this case, the Myra. The Myra is the transaction for invoices with, uh, with purchase order. So you see everything is okay. Uh, we post it. And uh, in this case, the process for the approval is completed. Which kind of steps you want to use, which kind of different competence you want to address is specific for you to, to define this. For example, object competences uh, or finance competence. You can all put this information inside SAP tables for the in Puncto workflow. Now we refresh the information. This is uh, ready. This is posted. We get 
uh, an object number with a click. I go directly to this object, to the new SAP invoice object. And um, the additional information with the documents are in the attachment list. This is standard SAP, pure standard. On the one side, we get the scanned invoices, which is transferred in this case from the archiving system. But interesting for you is also that we analyze the complete process uh, for the workflow with a workflow log with the workflow protocol. You get the information with the invoice started with some information. Then we have the invoice items, which user uh, does a, did a comment in the process. Then the, the approval steps, for example, which user did the, the approval steps here in this case. Then every workflow steps with an incoming information, outcoming information. You get the complete transparency about the complete process.